What's up, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. We are coming at you with more of Wave 3 from the Adventure series. Not the most exciting figure. Wish they would have used it for a different character in the slot, but we have Ronaldo from Dial of Destiny, Antonio Banderas. It was cool to see him in the movie, but I feel like he was a wasted character, wasted potential. One of my only gripes with the movie, it's like, why bring in a big actor for that role? But it's okay. We're getting the build an artifact piece, which is really cool. So with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the box, then we'll get this bad boy open. Taking a closer look at the box, we have Indiana Jones Adventure Series, a render that kind of looks like Ant Antonio Banderas, the figure does not at all. The artwork kind of looks like Antonio Banderas, the figure does not at all. But it says build an artifact, Ronaldo, warning, small parts, Hasbro. A wasted slot in this line, in my opinion. I don't know why they made this as a figure instead of like Mola Ram or Willy. Just made a whole Temple of Doom line and then put like... Voller, well they made Voller, but they could have made like, uh, I digress, they could have made another henchman from Dial of Destiny and made a whole Dial of Destiny wave, but here's Ronaldo's front, front of the box. It says Indiana Jones Adventure Series right there, and that does look like Antonio Banderas. If you've seen the movie, you, you know the character, he's a frogman, he's a scuba diver. Um, wasted cameo and wasted figure, like I don't understand. So only, one of my only gripes with the movie and with this line. On the back, Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny, Build an Artifact, The Grail Table, Ronaldo, he comes with a cane and the actual top of the table. And that's it. And the hat is removable, but like, yeah. And then we have the rest of the figures in the wave, you know, the rest of the Last Crusade wave, which should have been a whole wave. We should have had a whole Temple of Doom wave. We should have had a whole Dial of Destiny wave. And we should have had Gain the Crystal Skull wave. But with all of that being said, let's get this very underwhelming boy open. And here is Ronaldo out of the box. And it's it's even more disappointing because this is an all new sculpt and it's just wasted on a character who was in the movie for, for 15 minutes. Like that's it. Doesn't even look like Antonio Banderas. The sculpt is not there. I don't know who they were looking at when they sculpted it, but the face, like maybe from the side angle, it's a little bit looking like him. But other than that, it does not look like Antonio Banderas. But there's a lot of new parts here, all new parts actually. We get, of course, you know, the head sculpt itself, which, like I said, does not look like Antonio Banderas for the most part, but we get a shirt, an over new shirt overlay, new torso, um, new uh, arms and sleeves and new pants and all that stuff, new feet, completely new sculpt, and it's wasted on a character that really, even if you like the movie, it's like, ugh, what, what's the point of making this character as a figure? What is the point, Hasbro? Like, there's so many options you could have given us than you gave us Ronaldo. You could have had a whole Temple of Dune line whole last crusade line or wave but um here's Ronaldo now if I sound a little bitter don't get me wrong I'm glad to have the adventure series I'm glad we got the figures we did it just seems like Hasbro kind of screwed the pooch on these last two waves with what they could have done and what they should have done um Ronaldo with his hat on stands at just above six inches um but so with the hat he's a little bit shorter uh, so no problems there. He'll fit right in with the rest of the adventure series, which should have a lot more villains and gosh, I keep bumping the camera. A lot more villains and uh, side characters that we just did not get. And this is the last wave, and it makes me really sad. Going over his accessories, first of all, we get the build an artifact piece. Sorry, ignore the leg. It doesn't come with that. I already plugged that in. But as you can see, it comes with spots for all the things, but there's no like actual pegs, so I have to use some tack to get all this stuff down there, except for these plates which kind of just stick in there. I'm hoping one day my voice will be back to normal, y'all. I've been sick for like two weeks. Well, I'm recovering now, but I was sick for like a week and a half and it just destroyed my voice. But as you can see, that build an artifact is coming along. I've got all the other little bits and pieces in here. Don't want to lose them, but I'm going to probably sticky tack them down right now. And there, you see, I tacked them on and now they won't go nowhere. But if we want to put the real grail and the other false grail that uh, Donovan came with on there, we totally can. And just a little uh, tilted. There we go. Can't wait to get the rest of this. Uh, this is really cool. Like the build an artifact is a really cool concept that the adventure series executed probably pretty perfectly in my opinion. Like not really many flaws with how they did it other than not having peg holes for like the Sankara stones and these things that I just had to put tack on this thing for. But it looks really good. Look at that. That's amazing. So props to that. At least we got this with Ronaldo because it's like an essential piece. So it's like it eh, can't be too mad. At least I have that. Going over the regular accessories, he's only listed as having a cane, which he does have. It's just a plain old cane. It's, there's no detail. It's just, well, there's detail. It's just not painted. It's just cast in brown. But he also has the hat, which if you take the hat off, he looks even less like, eh. 
maybe a little bit more like Antonio Banderas, but like, I guess it's kind of there through the camera, but like looking at it in person, it's, eh, it's growing on me the, the way it looks that, like him, but I've always been like, is that really Antonio Banderas? Is that what he's supposed to look like? Uh, but yeah, the hat just fits right over the hair. And uh, then he gets shot like 15 min to f five minutes after he's introduced and he's dead. And they're like, oh, okay, well, thanks. Going over the articulation, like I said, it is all new sculpt. So let's go over that. We do have that uh, double barbell on the neck attached to the head. So head goes forward, side, up, back, all that good stuff. We do have butterfly joints in there. So there's good our movement up there. Shoulders come up that far. Uh, no bicep cut, but we do get a swivel at the single elbow. Uh, floating joints for the wrists. We get a ball peg down at the bottom of the torso. So there's waist cut, leg forward, leg back. Uh, bends the knee pretty far, actually. That's not bad. It's all new sculpt on those legs. Um, we do get a boot cut at the leg down here under the cuff, and then we get rockers. So yeah, nothing crazy or insane. It's just wild to me that this was a slot on the event. They must have had like a contract for Antonio Banderas. He's like, I need an action figure. I need. But all gripes aside, the details are really nice. You can see he's got a tattoo down there on his hand. I didn't notice that before. He's also got one on his arm. So they did the tattoos nicely. They look pretty, pretty good. Now to comparisons. First up for scale and comparison, we have Ronaldo with the other two Dial of Destiny figures that I have that are from Wave 2, not from Wave 3. And I understand why they did it for like sales reasons. Like if they put all of the Dial of Destiny figures in one wave, only the hardcore fans like me are gonna pick every single one up and it, they're not gonna get the sales. So they mixed it up. They threw three, four Temple of Doom with two Dial of Destiny, et cetera, et cetera, you know. Last Crusade, Dial of Destiny, they mixed it up. But they should have done, they should have done a whole Temple of Doom wave with the bad guy, Mullah Ram and Willy, the lead female. They should have done a whole Last Crusade wave with um, the other Colonel Dietrich or whatever his name is from the Last Crusade. And um, they could have done like one more character. They could have done Sala from Last Crusade even, like another Last Crusade character instead of Ronaldo. <laughs> you know, it's just, it is what it is at this point. I'm just, I'm just upset that the line is over and we're not getting more. Um, especially with the video game coming out next year. Like, come on, Hasbro, keep it going. For some Black Series, here he is with Echo and Captain Rex, just because they were right there, so I wanted to grab them and, yeah. Here he is with Jada Toys, Chun-Li, and articulated icons, martial artist Akat from the Foosh Toys. Foosh Toys, I can't talk today. Sorry, Robo. I know what your toys are called. Here he is with some Marvel Legends and some Lightning Collection. Try to cover all the six inch bases here. SH Figure Arts, and Harley's a little bit taller because she's wearing roller skates, so those wheels give her some extra height. Here we have some Moffex with Harley Quinn and Mattel Movie Masters, or whatever it was called, with Heath Ledger's Joker. Here he is with more Mattel. I don't know, I forgot that I had this Batman and Joker. They just kind of sit on my shelf. I don't know which line they're from, but um, not the best Batman. <laughs> And then lastly, for scale and comparison, here he is with some G.I. Joe classified series, and I think that pretty much covers all the bases for super awesome Omega Ultra Ronaldo over here. So with all that being said, and all jokes aside, I'm really glad to have the build an artifact piece that came with Ronaldo. <laughs> um, I'm always glad to get more Indiana Jones Adventure series, but this is the last wave, and it's like, this is a disappointment of a slot for a figure. I'm glad I got that table, but come on, Hasbro. If you guys like this video, go ahead and smash the like button down below and hit subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can come back every week for my awesome content where I obviously every time have something good to say. Not all the time. I'm not I'm always just giving praises or whatever. Sometimes I gotta be a little bit honest. So be a little bit honest in the comments. Let me know what you think of Ronaldo. Let me know what you think of Hasbro ending the Adventure series, where they're ending it. If you think that this was a waste of a slot like I do, how your day is going, just let me know what's up. I love you. I will see you next time and bye-bye.